strokes can be divided into two types, ischemic or blockage type of stroke, which accounts for about 80% of all strokes, and a bleeding or hemorrhagic strokes, which accounts for 15 to 20% of stroke. In general, uh, risk factors that increase the risk of stroke, number one is age, blood pressure, diabetes, cholesterol, and smoking. These risk factors can all lead to narrowing of arteries, atherosclerosis of cholesterol plaques, a major cause of uh, stroke, especially as one gets older, is clots from the heart, caused by atrial fibrillation, a type of irregularity in the heart. Depending on the risk factor for the stroke, one treats that condition more specifically. We consult high blood pressure, especially if that's particularly in the, in the cause. If there are persons who have high cholesterol conditions, sometimes we send to a preventive cardiologist to treat that. Yeah, if one has had a stroke, the concern is for having further strokes. But it's certainly not a uh, guarantee that you're going to have another one. We work with primary care doctors in addressing the risk factors, high blood pressure, but also diabetes, high cholesterol, and smoking cessation. Physical activity is important depending on the age or the effects of the stroke. Physical activity can be challenging, but finding what's safe is also important for stroke prevention as well as overall health.